Hi, and welcome back. One of the biggest questions I get while teaching math is, when am I ever gonna use this? And I just wanna show you a real life example when you can use math. So my sister moved to Los Angeles and her rent alone is $2,000 a month. So in order for her to pay for her rent and everything else she needs to pay for, food, gas, groceries, car payment, she needs to make about $4,000 a month between her two jobs. So she called me and she's like, how many hours should I work here? And how many hours should I work there? Well, let's use some math. So one of her jobs is a dog walker and she makes $15 an hour walking dogs. Her other job that she has is a server for a restaurant and she makes $25 an hour working at the restaurant. I am going to call this X and I'm going to call this Y. And we're going to figure out how many hours she has to work. Let's just do it per week. So she has enough money for all of her bills. So if she needs to make $4,000 a month, let's say she needs to make only $1,000 per week. Okay. So our goal is to make $1,000. So this job where she makes $25 an hour at, let's, we called it X. So we're going to go 25 and we're going to multiply that by the amount of hours that she works at that job. So if she worked two hours at that job, we would go 25 times two, and that would be 50. So we are gonna add that amount of money to her other job. Her other job, she makes $15 an hour. So I'm gonna go 15 times Y. Y stands for the amount of hours that she walks those little dogs, okay? And then both of these jobs combined, we have to get her to $1,000. The first thing I'm going to do is solve for y because I want to put this equation in slope intercept form. So I am going to subtract 25x, subtract 25x. These will cancel. I will be left with 15y equals, and then I can't combine those because one of them has a variable and one of them doesn't. So I'm just going to write it like this, negative 25x because I'm subtracting, plus I have that thousand over there. Okay, I need to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide by 15, divide by 15, divide by 15, and now my y is going to be by itself, and I'm going to have it in slope-intercept form. y equals... Well, I can reduce this fraction. I gotta remember it's negative. And the number five goes into both of these. Five goes into the number 25 five times, and five goes into the number 15 three times. And I can't forget about that X. Five also goes into both of these numbers. Five goes into 1,200 times, and five goes into 15 three times. So all I did right here is I reduced this fraction and this fraction. You don't have to reduce. It just kind of helps when you graph that you're not working with such large numbers. Okay. I am going to graph this really quick and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like and what it means. So here is a graph of my sister's work scenario. As we said earlier, our X was going to equal her serving job. And if you remember, she made $25 per hour. And then our Y was going to equal her dog walking. And she made $15 an hour. So let me just show you what this graph means. I went ahead and graphed the line that we made. So right over here where this line crosses the X axis, that means that 40 that it crosses at, that means she would have to serve 40 hours and dog walk zero hours in order to make her goal of $1,000 per week. This part of the line where it crosses the y-axis, 
means if she didn't want to serve at all, she would have to work 66 and two thirds of another hour to make her goal of $1,000. All of these points in between where this line goes, these are all the different scenarios that she could have to make her $1,000. So if we just pick a random point, I'm gonna choose that point. That means that she would have to serve 10 hours, and that means she would have to walk the dogs 50 hours in order to make her goal of $1,000. I could pick any spot on this line. I'm gonna pick this spot. This spot means she would have to serve 22 hours and she would have to dog walk 30 hours in order to make her goal. So I'm gonna bring this paper to my sister and show her exactly what her options are when she's making money and being able to afford her place in LA. I hope that problem made sense to you when we can use math in the real world, if you have a scenario of your own, feel free to comment it below and I will make a math problem out of it. But other than that, have a great day and please click subscribe and ring the bell.